Hey guys, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Today we're going to do an unboxing of the Thrustmaster TCA Airbus Edition Throttle Quadrant. Now I ordered this back in August. It had a couple delays, finally shipped from Microsoft Store um, on October 30th. And it took almost two weeks to get here because it sat in customs for eight days. So finally it arrived today. So we're going to unbox this and take a look at it. So this will be, I'll be using this with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Set that aside. So as of a couple updates ago, they finally added support for this. So it should just be plug and play and not have to do any mapping of the uh, controls similar to the uh, side stick I got that plugged it in it's good to go so I'll just give you a look at the box a little bit so it's just the top um, this just gives you a look at the actual product and we'll just give you a look at the side so as it as shown here you can actually have multiple configurations so later on, who knows when they'll actually release it, they're coming out with the, these add-ons that will add things like flaps, speed brake, parking brake. These can be attached to the throttle quadrant seen here. Or you can take two of these throttle quadrants, attach them together plus the add-ons so that you can use airliners that use four thrust levers like the Boeing 747. So. I do want to get these uh, two add-ons. So that's just not much to see here. And just uh, another glimpse of it. So let's open this thing up, see what we got. So we'll just uh, set that aside. Set that aside. It just also comes with some instructions here. Uh, just how to use it. So I'll set that aside. Open this up. And look at that. There's a throttle quadrant. We'll just look at what we got here first. So this is your USB-C to USB-A cable. Just to show the camera so you can see that. So you only need the one cable when using the add-on. So luckily you don't need it's not going to take up many USB ports. It also comes with uh, some stickers to go on the engine switches. So as you can see, you can have up to four engine switches if you decide to have two throttle quadrants. So we'll just set those there. Uh, looks like we got here. These are just the the clamps, I guess you'd say, to connect. You know, if you were to connect another throttle. To this one you'd use these clamps to secure them together and it comes with a looks like a little uh, allen key and a phillips end so that you can do that so just set that there now this is what we really want to see the throttle quadrant so let's take the plastic off i'm very excited to use this i've been I've been waiting so long for it. Very excited for it. Set all the plastic aside. So that's the throttle quadrant. We'll just, just uh, so you can you can feel the detents. So uh, you, you know your climb toga those modes in the Airbus. Yeah, you can. You can feel the detents kind of clicks in. And then the nice thing about this, it has built-in reverse thrust. So that's pretty sweet. And then just goes forward, locks back into place. You got your engine switches. You got your uh, mode for crank and ignition start. And a couple programmable buttons here. 
Now I'll give you a look at the front. As you can see here, this switch here, you'd use this switch if you connect two throttles together. So that would be if you had two throttle quadrants connected. And if you just have just the single quadrant, give you a better look there. And I'll just give you a better look at the throttle. So if you go to the underside, there's these two mechanisms here. So these were, these are if you want to have the detents or just one continuous uh, motion so that you can use it with any aircraft. Um, these, these rubber gas caps come off. So these are to connect additional accessories, the ones I was talking about with the, you know, the speed flaps, your landing gear, parking brake. So these would actually connect there. So that's why I say you only need to use the one USB cable for, uh, for the add-ons. There's also a, uh, can't, I don't see it, but there's, there's supposed to be a tension screw that, so you can actually adjust the tension of the, the thrust levers. So, yeah, it's, oh, I really like it guys. I mean, it is, it is plastic, but everything feels solid. It feels really good. I just, I love how you have the reverse thrust. That's so cool. And the engine switches, like everything feels, feels really solid. I uh, I noticed one person I saw on Reddit. they were really their only complaint about this was the size of the knob. They actually printed out a three D model of the real life size. So yeah, I'll just give you a look at the back here. There's where you connect your USB C uh, to, to connect to your computer. This connection, this connection here is if you want to attach the rudder pedals. And I guess this would be the tension screw, it looks to be. So, yeah. Very excited to use this. Um, that's really all I have to say. Um, yeah. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, please leave a comment below. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell. If you have any questions, just drop, drop a comment below and I'll, I'll give you an answer. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you, uh, we'll see you next time.